Well, hello, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to a brand new free template video. Of course, you're gonna get the free template and the free profile picture for the header and the in the banner, of course. But I do ask if you do use it, all I do ask is that you do subscribe. I just wanna make sure that everyone's subscribing because I feel like that's fair, you know, free template. Just a little free subscribe for me to get some nice nice views. Not that many, but um, I would really appreciate it if you did and also leave a like um, if you can, that'd be great. But anyway, I am JM. The Bob Ross of Photoshop because Photoshop is so much fun and I have to tell you I'm gonna show you how to make some nice little easy Photoshop today this is a speed art of some of the like some of the moments in Blender but of course we're gonna spend all of the time in the tutorial in Photoshop so let's get going okay here we have our nice little 1500 by 500 template in photoshop of course i did just plop in the render i did make the render myself it will be in the free template um i think i might put a uh, like cap on this so if it hits maybe like 150 likes i'll just throw it out because uh you know why not hopefully uh hopefully we'll get some likes going and uh yeah it'll be ready to go so pretty much we're just gonna plop in a nice little render there and we're using my pack the everything pack of course if you do want to support me because i don't make any money off of youtube if you don't believe me this is the truth i promise um uh you could just pick up my pack it's uh i think it's eight dollars eight dollars for my pack and it'll help me pay for college because i am struggling to pay for college so please do if you can and uh yeah this is what we'll be using to follow this nice little tutorial here All right, and then right here, I just added a nice little background. Of course, you will not see this background in the end. I'm gonna turn the opacity down quite a bit starting now, and just I'm just gonna keep turning it down and down and down, just because I wanted the nice black atmospheric background that just doesn't have much and just focuses on the render because that is really all the hard work in this is from the render. So you're welcome. No, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you want to pick it up, just remember 150 likes will have it out. And yeah, right here I'm just starting to add some nice little white glow around everything and then I'm using um, assets from my pack to add some nice like wisps of uh, atmosphere as well so I'm gonna add but I'll show you how to do that in a little bit All right, as you can see, I did add a nice little cloud of smoke behind it and a nice little explosion. Of course, that is from my pack. I'm just gonna go right there and add a nice little motion blur and I'm gonna duplicate it and just toss it around everywhere. And to make it white, pretty much, I just added a hue and saturation mask, turned the saturation all the way down, and I turned the lightness up quite a bit and I made it white. All right, and then right here, as you can see, I just added a bunch of wisps all around, made it darker, and I will be adding a camera raw filter in a bit, which will just make it all go together. But we are gonna add some particles, and this is from this pack right here, and you're just gonna plop them in. You'll see which pack it is. And then, there are honestly particles in every single pack, but the everything pack is where I usually get all of my particles.
all right as you can see right here it looks eh, it looks okay but to make it all look a lot better with a nice color correction we are going to be adding a nice camera raw filter if you don't know how to do that just drag in a photo of what you're working on so save it as a jpeg save it as a png just file save as and then just plop it right in above everything else and then go to filter camera raw filter and you'll see which selections i'll be doing for which sliders of course just mess with every slider and just like whatever looks best to you is what you'll end up with there's no right way to do it there's no wrong way to well there's some wrong ways to do it but you can see it right here i'm just experimenting and seeing what works a lot of times with this style a lot of times the whites are very cold and blue so that's what i'll be doing right here with this one and then after that let's move on All right, and as you can see right here, we have the header all the way done. I will have a YouTube um, sort of template for it, but that one will be paid because yay, I want to I want to make money. But yeah, this is it's very simple. It's just letting the render sort of speak for itself. I just wanted to make a really simple tutorial just so everyone could know how I do these really simple um, headers. A lot of them are very complex, but this is just, these are the basics and I wanted to get that down. And yeah, it's halfway done. We'll go on to the profile picture right now. All right, so now we just have a file that's 500 by 500 pixels. This is just gonna be pretty much the exact same thing. Um, for the background, of course, I am just taking a nice little snippet from the just the header that we just made, and then I'm just blurring it, as you can see right here, just filter, blur, motion blur. It's just a nice background as a base, just for, um, just for starting off. Then I added some nice little smoke and then I painted in right here with that color right there. As you can see, I just painted in. Then after that, I added some highlights, which will be for the character. You'll see how they'll look in the end. It looks a little odd right now, but yeah, highlights behind it. And then there's our new render. I made this one as well. It did take quite a bit. And then after that, I added a huge saturation mask just so everything is nice and filtered. And then I will be adding a camera raw filter to everything, of course. And of course, I added smoke in the front and I'll be filtering this as well i just want to make it nice and cold so it goes with everything nice and blue as well and yeah And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, like this one too. It's just the same technique, of course. This one I did have some nice smoke in the front, though. Um, just keep in mind that this was made in a square format, but a lot of the profile pictures and AVIs you'll be using for Twitter, YouTube, whatever you want to use for this, they will be circular, so it will crop part of it, but it'll it'll hopefully still look fine. Um, here it is, filter gallery. I added some nice filters. 
some nice offset as well to get the effect that everyone's doing currently and it's done make sure you do subscribe if you do use this is all i ask and i hope to see you guys later with more free templates and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed bye